I am announcing today an initiative never before done here. That, that means there will be consequences for irresponsible development. I am going to be signing an executive order here today that will prohibit county departments from issuing permits for developments that have not complied with general municipal law, otherwise known as the GML. This order fulfills a promise I made when I was elected to do all of my power to preserve the quality of life in our county. This executive order was developed at my direction after a number of months of a joint effort by a number of our county departments to find a solution to the outlandish and reckless development that's been going on in the town of Ramapo. And in short, this was an all-hands effort. General Municipal Law, and this is just some details here, the GML requ requires towns and villages to comply with the findings of the County Planning Commissioner or file a reason why the decision has been made not to comply. Sounds simple. There are certain circumstances that trigger provisions under New York State GML that force a local municipality, a town or a village, to send plans to the County Planning Department. This includes plans for proposed zone change, a special permit, certain subdivisions, certain site plans, and even changes in local laws. These reviews are also triggered when you have developments near adjacent municipalities like Patrick Farm behind us, or developments close to a county road, stream, wetland, park, or proposed development that involves changes to zoning laws. What this means is that a town or a village that, will, that can still allow development that does not comply with the GML something unfortunately is quite common in certain parts of this county but the county will no longer go along with it unless the town and village tells us why it has reached a different conclusion and you know something sure you can build a 479 house development over a crucial freshwater aquifer even though our commissioner of planning says so but guess what you will not be able to get water or sewer hookups for that home those homes you will not be able to get addresses you cannot open your road. You cannot get curb cuts for driveways unless a town or village explains why they think it's okay to override the county. I say this to you. Good luck with that. <laughs> and while clearly the major issue we're seeing in this county has been in the town of Ramapo where there seems to be no planning no respect at all for development and for the people who live here. This executive order applies to all towns, all villages in Rockland County. But all of us do know that the problem with irresponsible, sometimes reckless development is for the most part contained in one town, Raupo and a few of its villages. We are at a turning point at town of Raupo. We all know what a jury found just last Friday regarding the ex-town supervisor. Let's hope Raupo is turning the corner. Let's restore integrity in the town of Rampo. We want the county to be there for people of Rampo who have been waiting years for a change, being frustrated at every turn. <laughs> and just, so, just so people understand this, I'm a former Civic Association president myself. When I see citizens expending thousands of dollars, as Mr. Katz and Ms. Greenbaum have, to defend themselves, against a failure of a municipality to do the right thing, it maddens me, it frustrates me, it is wrong. Citizens should not have to work against their government for the right thing to happen, and that's why we're here today. This means, very simply, we're enforcing the rule of law. And what happens around Poe now has an impact on all of Rockland County, and we have to all understand that. Reckless development with no regard for our natural resources, no regard for our infrastructure, and no regard for a quality of life will no longer be allowed and it will not be tolerated. As a former Civic Association, I refuse to accept this any further. As your county executive, I will use every legal tool at my disposal to stop it. This is our new line in the sand being drawn today, here, right opposite Patrick Farm in this firehouse. And in case some folks don't understand this, I'll repeat this. Equal treatment for all, special preference for none, and that includes town and village governments also.